All right, in example 27, we have a more complex problem because I have two things outside. Here's the inside, so I have a 3 times this quantity, and I'm adding 3 to this quantity. So we need to get rid of these two values first. So I'm going to minus 3 and minus 3 to keep it balanced. So now I have 3 times the quantity of the absolute value of negative x plus 1. And then 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Now I'm going to divide everything by 3. 3 cancels that out, so I get the absolute value of negative x plus 1 equals negative 1. I actually get to stop right there because I have an absolute value that's equal to a negative. Okay, when you have an absolute value... equal to a negative number, you actually have no solution. Because an absolute value will never equal a negative value. So the absolute value of this can't equal negative. It has to be a positive in order for me to solve it. So we are done.